Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the upcoming Sinden Light Gun. Now, I've actually got two here, and these are absolutely amazing. I've had these for the past week and a half. We've been messing around with them, and I personally love this setup. It's a camera-based light gun that works with basically any kind of TV or monitor nowadays. So I'm sure a lot of you have already heard about these. These were up on Indiegogo and they raised a ton of money. And for good reason, this is an awesome setup here. This works with Windows or the Raspberry Pi and a ton of different standalone emulators or PC games like House of the Dead 2 and 3. And as for emulators, this will work with MAME, RetroArch, the M2 emulator, PC SX2, Dolphin, and many more. The light guns do come with holsters, so you can mount these to the side of your arcade cabinet, and I will be adding these to my Rec Room Masters cabinet in the near future. I'm also planning on doing a few RetroPie tutorials showing you how to get this set up, but for now, I want to take a look at these light guns, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to set it up with Windows, LaunchBox, and MAME. The Sendin light guns don't work like any other light gun that I've seen on the market so far. These actually have a built-in camera system. And what it does is it uses some crazy mathematics to calculate where you're pointing at. It does this over 50 times per second, and it can do a complete end-to-end -end calculation in less than 25 milliseconds. And if we take a look at the unit itself, you can see that we have four physical buttons and a D-pad over on the left-hand side. Now, when you initially plug this into your PC or your Raspberry Pi, it's going to be recognized as a mouse. But Sendin does offer an application to allow you to remap basically everything on here and they offer enough physical buttons to map this for basically any game that supports a light gun, be it a PC game or a game that you're emulating from MAME or another system. Setup with the Sendin light gun on Windows 10 is super easy. It already has the driver pre-installed with Windows 10, but he does offer an application that you need to download. And what this is going to allow you to do is enable the light gun. It also offers firmware updates when they're available, and there's a lot of different configuration settings that we can mess around with from the Sendin application like button remapping, anti-jitter, and you can configure your border. And the border is very important, we'll get into that in just a second, but I'm going to go over here to the camera section in the Sendin software, and you'll actually be able to see this camera working in real time. It is looking directly at my screen because I'm pointing the light gun at the screen. And as for the border I was talking about, there's a hotkey on the light gun itself. It's already set up in the Sendin software, you can remap this if you'd like to. You're going to press it once, it's going to give us a 16 by 9 border. Press it again, it'll give us a 4x3 border. And this is what the Sendin light gun relies on to be super accurate. You can change the color of it if you'd like to. You can also make it a little bit smaller, but I'm going to leave it just like this because this is exactly how the software comes out of the box. We also have some more configuration settings in here, but I personally haven't had to mess around with anything on the three displays that I've tested these guns on so far. So now I want to get into a little bit of testing. I have the gun configured with Windows 10, but I still need to do a little bit of setup in the MAME emulator. And like we saw at the beginning of this video, this works with a ton of different standalone emulators, but I'm going to be using MAME for this video. And I personally use LaunchBox for all of my MAME stuff on Windows, and I've set up a little section here, Light Gun Games, super easy to do if you have LaunchBox. I'm going to go ahead and start a game. You can use your physical mouse, or you can even use the Send and Light Gun because it's already configured like a mouse. Alright, so here we are in MAME. I'm just going to press tab on my keyboard and I'm going to go to Player 1 Controls. This is the general controls for all MAME games. I'm going to scroll down until I find my light gun X and Y. Alright, so here we are. Y and X access for the light gun. So we have nothing set right now. And what I want to do is set up this light gun. It's working as a mouse right now, but we do need to configure it in MAME. Since this game and most games for MAME are going to be running at a 4x3 aspect ratio, I set up my 4x3 border here. And now I want to set my X axis for the light gun, so I'll press enter on my keyboard, move it to the left or the right. We now have the X axis set, and we'll go with the Y. It's going to be up or down, and I messed up on that one, so we'll do it again. And there we have it. So now I have my X and Y axis set for this light gun, and we're actually ready to play. I do need to back up a little bit though. And the camera is going to track that border. You can actually make it a little thinner. I just didn't mess around with it in the settings. When I initially set this up on this 4K display, it was super thin and worked out great. It's a little thicker than I'd like right now, but this can all be configured in the Sendin application. And this does support gangster mode. So the Sendin light gun has been working amazingly, even with the stock settings right out of the box. I haven't messed around with any of the settings in the Sendin light gun application. And on all three displays that I've tested this on, it's just working fine. Basically, all I did was plug this into my PC, 
start up the application, and map my buttons in MAME, and I'm now using a light gun with this LCD monitor. And accuracy is really great. As you can see, I can knock out all of these grenades and missiles coming at me. Next up, I wanted to test out Time Crisis. Now, if you've ever played this game in a real arcade, you know that this had a pedal, but what I've done is map my caulking mechanism on the Send and Light Gun as my pedal. You can do it with any button on here if you'd like to. But I figured since this game doesn't need a reload button, I'd go ahead and try this. I'll probably map it to a different button later on, but it is working. I had to throw Alien the gun in here because this is one of my favorites. Now this isn't a free-flowing shooter. This actually had a stationary gun, but the Send In Light gun also works with those type of games. So overall, I've been having an absolute blast with the Send and Light guns, no pun intended, and in the future I will be adding these to my Game Room Solution arcade machine. It's also running a Windows 10 PC and I'm running LaunchBox, I'm basically going to have the same setup on that, as you saw in this video. But before I get to that, I do want to do a full tutorial on setting this up with a Raspberry Pi and RetroPie because there's a lot of people out there that have been asking about it. It does work, he offers all of the drivers and the firmware we need to get that up and running. So keep an eye on the channel because I'll have a video up soon. And in the meantime, if you're interested in learning more about the Send and Light Gun, I will leave links to his website in the description. He also has a wiki page. And as of making this video and putting it out, they are taking a new batch of pre-orders, but they're not going to be available till the end of November 2020 or maybe the beginning of January 2021. But if you do want to put in a pre-order, you can do it from the website. But that's pretty much it for this video. Really appreciate you watching. I definitely have some more testing to do with different emulators and PC games that support light guns so keep an eye out on the channel for more videos and if there's anything else you want to see being played with these light guns just let me know what it is and i'll throw it in the next one but like always thanks for watching